Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to customize motion of theme on Shopify. So the first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then using the search bar at the top, we just have to type out shopify.com and then once you're here, just have to log into your account. So the motion theme on Shopify, it offers a dynamic and visually engaging experience, making it ideal for businesses looking to captivate their audience. Okay, so now that we're here, all we have to do is to click on the online store option. So this one and then click on a theme. So now that you're here, as you can see, I have here all of my themes. So to add a new theme, you just have to simply click on add theme. Or I can also scroll down and click on the visit theme store. Okay, so this one. And then you'd be directed to another page. And let's just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so right here, you'll be able to see different themes that we can use. Okay, so take note that not all of the themes here are free. So we have to pay or buy a specific theme if we are to publish it. Okay, then we can use the search bar at the top right and then type out motion theme. So this one. So right here at uh, the left side, we would be able to see here the price of the motion theme. So it's for $360 and it's a limited free trial. But if we are to publish this, so we have to pay. Now we can try this theme right here. So for the feedback, it's 97% positive. Now just click on try theme. So right here, I have successfully added the motion theme to my theme gallery. So we just have to wait for a couple of seconds and as you can see at the right side, we don't have the publish button since we have to pay if we are going to publish this theme. So I'm just going to use the free trial to show you how you can customize it. So just click on customize. Okay, so now that we're here, we can start customizing this theme. So as you can see in the first section, we have here this section where we have a background video and at the top center we have here our pages so when we click on this one we'd be able to see all of our pages on this theme okay when we scroll down we also have here the collection list we also have here the about section and then another collection list and then more so we can customize this one by one so we are going to start by customizing the general colors and more so all we have to do now is to simply click on the gear icon or the settings icon at the left side so this one right here and we are going to start with the colors so when you click on colors we have here the general colors the color of the header so we're going to start with the general so i think i will be using this background or maybe a green background would do okay so i'm just going to select this color right here and then just choose your color so i think this one is better so i'm going to use it next is for the color of the text so if you want to change it just have to select your color now for the lines and borders i am going to use this one and for the buttons i think black would do or maybe something lighter so i'll be using this one next is for the button text so i'm going to use white for that now for the header colors so we have here the background okay so let me just change the background color for the header so i think i'll be using this one too and for the text maybe block would do okay now for the announcement bar i am going to use a dark green color okay so i'm going to select this one okay as you can see the color of the announcement bar has changed so for the footer we also have the footer colors right here and the rest of the colors so if you want to customize it one by one you can just go there so the next one that we are going to change is the typography so you just have to click on this one and as you can see at the headings so we are using this font style now if you want to change this one you just have to click on change and then you use the search bar at the top to search for a specific font style and after that just click on select 
We also have the letter spacing, the base size, the line height as well. And if you want to capitalize the headings, so you just have to click on this box right here. Now for the body text, as you can see, we're using this font style. So if you want to change this one, just click on change. Then we also have here the letter spacing, the base size, the line height, and more. Okay, so now that we are done with the typography, let us proceed to the next one. Okay, so let me just close the typography section. So let's proceed to the icons. Now when you clicked on the icons, you'll be able to see here the weight of the icons. So currently I am using light. And then for the edges, we have sharp and round. So I just have to click on any of this too. Okay, so the next one is the animations. So for the pages, we can animate between pages. So you just have to click on this one. And then for the style, I am currently using the slow fade or this is the default style. So if you want to change this one, just have to click on it. Now for the section, we can also animate the sections. So we have here the background style. So currently we have the zoom and fade in. So we can choose fade in if we want to. Next is for the images, so we can also animate the images. So we have here the style, so currently we have zoom and fade in again. Now for the other, we can also animate patterns and more. Now the next thing is for the products. So we can show here the vendor or not show the vendor. So you just have to click on this box. And then right here for the saving and display style, we can use dollar or percent. Next is we have the product tiles. So when you click on the product tiles, we can customize the rest. So let's proceed to the cart section. Now I'm not going to show you everything right here. So all you have to do is to simply go through this settings one by one. Okay, so now let's proceed to our homepage and try to customize our first section. Okay, so we have here the header group. We can also add a section right here. So when you click on add section, so you just have to select your sections. Okay, so you can also use a search bar at the top to search for a specific section. Next for the pop-ups. So if you would like to add a section for the pop-ups, you can just use a search bar or just click on your sections right here. Okay, so now let's proceed and start customizing the first section. Okay, so all you have to do is to click on it and at the left side, you'll be able to see the settings. So for the heading, we have the bring your brand to life. So we can change it, of course. So for example, we have a heading about market yourself or something like that. Okay, so after typing out your heading, you just have to adjust the heading text size. Okay, so right here, so we have 75 pixels. Now, if you would like to add a subheading, you just have to type it right here, the subheading, and you'd be able to see that below your heading. Okay, so this one right here. And for the button text, I'm just going to leave this one as it is. But if you want to change it, you just have to erase the text right here and then type out your own text. And for the button linked, so of course where you want to link this button to so you just have to collect on any of this for example for specific products pages blogs or collections so i'm going to select blogs and select news so when someone clicked on this button right here they'd be redirected to that specific url that you have pasted next is for the text alignment i'm going to use the center and what i like about this theme is we can use a background video so we just have to paste here the link of our YouTube video from our YouTube channel so we can use it as our background. Okay, so as you can see, our background is moving. Next one is the text protection. So it helps to darken your image to ensure your text is readable. Okay, so for example, this one, we are going to adjust this one. And as you can see, the color of the background has darkened. So next one right here, we also have the rest of the settings. Now, if you like to customize these things, you just have to go through all of this and then type out or change the things that you want to. Okay, so right here we have the collection. So if we are to customize this one, we just have to do the same. Just click on that specific section. And then right here at the left side, you'd be able to see the settings. 
So as you can see for the heading, we have here most popular. So we can change it. So this one right here at the top. So I just have to click on this section right here and then type out our heading. So for example, popular products. Okay, and then for the collection one and collection two, you just have to click on select collection and then you can create new collection or just select the collection on your page. So as you can see, I am going to use the homepage one since I don't have any collection for this site yet. Okay, next thing that we can do is to select the collection for collection two. Let me adjust the product per row first. Okay. So let us add our collection for the collection two. Okay, so you can do the same. Just create a new collection or simply use your existing collection. Okay, so now that we are done here, let us click on select. And then when you scroll down, you'll be able to see here show view all linked or show section divider. Okay, so let us try to add a specific product right here. For example, this one. So just click on that specific box and then just have to select your collection again and it will appear on this specific box. Okay, so let us try to proceed to the other pages. So just click on the pages at the top. There right here, let's proceed to the products. So right here, I'm going to assign it to six products. So just click on the default products. Okay. Okay, so right here, this is how it's going to look like when someone clicked on that specific product of ours. Okay, so that's right. Now I'm going to show you and how you can actually customize the pages of this theme. So I just click on the pages at the top and for example let's proceed to our collection list so this is our catalog right here so before customizing the rest of the pages let us try to preview this to the desktop view so this is the desktop view right here this is the mobile view for this theme okay so as you can see this is fully functional theme now for the full screen so this is how it's going to look like let me just try to preview this first. Okay, so when you click on the three dots right here and click on preview, and you'd be able to see here all of our edits. But before that, of course, don't forget to click on save. So I actually forget to click on save. So let me just go back to the other tab. Okay, so I'll go back right here. And don't forget to click on the save button at the top right. And then after that, just click on the three dots again and click on preview. So this one right here and then click on preview. Now let me close this one. So when someone visit our page, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so we have the collection list and then of course our catalog. We also have this buttons right here, the search buttons and then our cart button. Okay, so let us try to proceed to your catalog. So as you can see in our catalog, we have these products. So for example, I am a customer and I am interested to buy this product. So I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see right here, we have the details of the product. And then of course, we have the add to cart button. Okay, and we also have the images of this product. Now for our contact form. So when someone try to contact us, if they're having trouble on accessing our product, so we just have to click on this contact option right here okay so right here we have the name the email and their message now actually we can customize that one so let's proceed it's your home page okay now click on the pages and then just click on the contact form option okay so just click on the section okay and then at the left side you'd be able to customize this form so just clicked on this section right here and at the left side we have here the title we have the text okay so let us try to change the title so for example i'm going to type out right here connect with us okay so something like that of course next is for the text 
So if you would like to add text right here, it will appear below your title. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to type out something. For example, let our team help you or guide you. Something like that. And next, you can also show here the phone number if you want your customer to type out their phone number over here. Okay, and then for the narrow column, if you would like to apply the narrow column, just have to click on the box. Okay, so after finalizing the contact form, so let me just click on this box. Okay, so after that one, you just have to proceed to the next page. So for example, right here, if you are to customize another page, so just click on it. And for example, for the about page, so this is our about page right here. So all we have to do here is to simply click on it. And right here at the left side, we can start customizing the about page. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye.